The committee showed how State House Speaker Brian Cutler received repeated voicemails in the last week of November 2020 from Donald Trump's attorneys, Rudy Giuliani and Jenna Ellis. The January 6th committee said Cutler felt the outreach was inappropriate and asked his lawyers to tell Giuliani to stop calling, but it continued. I understand that you don't want to talk to me now. But I just want to bring some facts to your attention and talk to you as a fellow Republican. Cutler also testified about the protests outside his home and district office. It was protests. I actually don't remember the exact number. Uh, there was at least three, I think, um, outside either my district office or my home. Um, and you're correct. My son, my then 15-year-old son, was home by himself for the first one. Cutler issued a statement short time ago saying he was interviewed by the committee on two separate occasions, but since the investigation is ongoing, he said it would be inappropriate to provide any additional comments. Cutler and dozens of Republican lawmakers sent a letter to Pennsylvania's congressional delegation in December 2020 telling them to object to the election results. His spokesperson said the letter urged the delegation to take into account actions that were taken to change Pennsylvania's election law outside the legislative process. The delegation ultimately chose not to object to the results. Susan Shapiro, WGAL News 8.